It's time for the Newsmax Daily from Newsmax, America's fastest growing cable news channel. Now, now, here's your host, Rob Carson. Rob Carson, back with a vengeance. Actually, not really a vengeance, just a, a lot of entertaining stuff today. How's that for an introduction? Well, if you didn't know already, Newsmax has a podcast. It is called Newsmax Daily with Rob Carson. It's got new episodes weekdays at noon. They're available on demand wherever podcasts are found. If you've got an iPhone, you can just check out the Apple Podcast app. Rob Carson's joining us now live to discuss. He is also the host of Rob Carson's What in the World, which airs on weekends right here on Newsmax. Hi, Rob. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thanks. It's, it's an honor to be on your show. I really appreciate it. I had the chance to uh, visit the Newsmax studio over the weekend. Uh, and did you get my business card? Um, anyway, <laughs> but it was really, really cool to uh, to be there. And it's an honor to be a part of this network. And uh, particularly the oral, oral uh, presentation, which is uh, the Newsmax Daily with Rob Carson every day. It is just a treat. It's blowing up. I don't know if you've heard. Uh, you know, went from zero to 60 to 100,000 downloads a day. So obviously, it's resonating. Uh, it's it's um, it's humor. It's it's uh, encapsulation of the day's events. So yeah. I'm really blessed to do it, and I and I hope uh, people will check it out. Well, it's really good to see you. And as you say, you can listen to uh, Rob Carson all the time. You basically summarize the top stories of the day. I'm reading through the reviews right now, and I gotta say, Rob. Seeing a lot of five stars. Love his daily podcast. You are awesome. Awesome show. Love it. The news. Best of the best. I mean, goodness, uh, this is some really great feedback. You don't always find this online. Um, talk well, to me folks, about some of the, the stories that you cover and why you think it might be resonating with so many listeners. Well, fortunately, I have a lot of relatives who, uh, <laughs> who I told to, to write reviews for me. So that's really great. <laughs> you cracked the no, code. No, I got to call my cousins. There you go. Thank you. Please do. Please do. Um, you know, the, the positive, guys, is, you know, I wrote for Rush Limbaugh for over 20 years. Uh, I was a kid right out of college when I heard about this guy named Rush Limbaugh in 1990. And I started writing political satire for him with a friend of mine. And uh, and so we brought the funny to that show. And I, I like to think that we we can disarm our opposition with humor. And so that's what I tr try to do with the, with the Daily Podcast. Listen, I've got an opinion. Uh, everybody's got an opinion. Uh, but you've got to have also a unique take based on life experience. And also, I bring my skills, hopefully, as an entertainer, as somebody who has done stand-up comedy, has written comedy, and all of these things. I like to call it kind of a, uh, a conservative daily show. Uh, it doesn't necessarily just tow a party line. It leans libertarian conservative, but it's also entertaining. It makes a point with humor. That's huge. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what brings people back. And, you know, when, when I think of humor, um, Saturday Night Live used to attempt to be humorous and funny. And they had no problem going after the former president. Alec Baldwin was called in, what, almost every Saturday to play the part. And yet I've noticed in the most recent season, uh, there's been hesitation to even play the role of the current president. Guys, I, I have I have made fun of um, uh, literally since I was in my twenties, the Clinton administration, the Bush administration, the other Bush administration, uh, uh, the Obama administration. I've made fun of a lot of elements from it. Obviously, I have a take that leans conservative, but but you've got to be able to look at pop culture and politics. And now, by the way, the ultimate uh, the ultimate intersection of pop culture and politics was Donald Trump. Um, you've got to be able to look at things and, and be able to poke fun. It doesn't mean you have to be vitriolic or, you know, toe a party line, but you can make a point with comedy. And and there have been some things where I've I've uh, teased uh, Donald Trump. I am a big fan of Donald Trump. He, I, I really am. And I, I wasn't when he ran for president. I wasn't a big fan. But I was uh, I was able to uh, have some fun with uh, his, some of his foibles, some of his uh, you know characterizations and whatnot. But ultimately, uh, not be vitriolic and awful like so many who are in late night television, mm. um, because you know where they come from. You know where I come from, but I'm not going to beat you over the head with my with my ideology. I'm going to make you laugh. Yeah. Hey, we always need some laughter these days. Rob Carson, I think you're going to have a few more listeners tuning in today. I'm hoping a lot more. Uh, you at home, I'm if you're curious. Thanks, Rob. You can check out Newsmax new podcast, the Newsmax Daily. It's everywhere podcasts are streamed. It's free. 
You can just subscribe to Newsmax Daily on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any other listening platform you've got. You can even go to the website, NewsmaxTV.com slash podcast. We've had more than 220,000 downloads of the podcast since we launched in late April. That's pretty impressive numbers there. And you can also watch Rob on What in the World. It's Saturdays, 9 p.m. Eastern and Sundays, 2 p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax.